So this is nowhere near as horrible as some of the other stories on this advent. It was still the most annoying RPG experience I have had so far. The titular event happened on May of this year. I have been a casual Pathfinder player for about three years at this point, only on Roll20, and was interested in learning the SE and really wanted to join a physical real-life game. I had started a new job in March of this year and ended up making some friends who were being big D&D &D players and the three of us about finding a DM. My two friends are a lot less shy than I am, so I end up playing a potential party to join really quickly. We end up finding a bar in town that hosts D&D &D games and found a DM willing to take us in. We were just about to start playing Dragon Heist and need extra players. So we arranged after work on Mondays, we would all play at the pub. There were other party groups in the pub, about 25 people were all together. Myself and my two friends were the only women there. Our DM was an older man in his 50s and was honestly really sweet. He had been playing since the 90s and this would be his first time as a DM. There were three other players in our party, which we call Kobold, Gnome, and Ranger. The three of them were boys in their early 20s or late teens. My two friends I should call Druid and Aldrin. We built our characters then and there, and this is where the trouble began. I admit that I was a bit of a noob compared to my friends when it came to RPG experience, so I was still really lost when it came to the various methods of using character sheets. I was used to rolling for stats because I am a child of the uncaring, unbiased fairness of the chaotic universe, but this time we were allocating stat points for our core abilities. I was not 100% sure how to do this, so I asked for help. Ranger came over and explained the process to me, which was great. I thanked him and finished my character. However, he seemed to interpret me asking for help in one instance as me being a complete newbie, so the entire game and needing help with every single aspect of the game. He also by proxy assumed that Druid and Aldrin were both new to the game as well even though they have been playing D&D for over a decade each. Now, the Kobold was actually brand new to the game and was constantly asking his friend Gnome and Ranger questions about the rules. Gnome was a cool guy and was helping out his friend, but Ranger was just so focused on assisting myself and Druid and Andron, even though after that initial quest, we never asked for help. When we were eventually did start playing the ranger's assistance really began to be a problem. We were thrust into combat instantly, and one time it was myself, Druid, or Eldron's turn, he would interrupt us with a huge smile on his face and tell us what we should be doing on our turns. He never did this with Gnome or Kobold. They were allowed to play however they wanted, but us, we were not allowed to get a word in. I'm quite shy, but Druid is not and I could see her beginning to seethe. The DM was quiet and non-confrontational, but was kind enough to let us get a word in and decide what we wanted to do on our teams. Ranger did not stop, though. Even during the roleplay heavy sections of the game, he would interrupt and take over when we were talking to NPCs as he knew what he was doing, like, bro, you have 13 charisma Calm down. He also did this with a big smile on his face and often shot winks at me and my friends. It got really awkward when we had a little bit of downtime in game and the bunch of us started role playing our characters getting to know each other. My character was a 20 year old cleric who grew up in a very strict monastery and thus was rather socially awkward. Myself, Druid, and Gnome started joking about relationships. Druid's character was basically from a hippie commune, and Gnome's character had a wife and grand gnomes. My cleric mentions that she's never had a relationship, and Mr. Ranger decides that it's appropriate to state very loudly. So you're a virgin then? Interesting. The table just went quiet. 
I glared at him and continued in character, saying, That's none of your business. He did that stupid wink again and said, I could make it my business. I did not come back to the next session, or the session after that. Alderan and Druid kept going on for another week before quitting too. I was sent a message over D&D Beyond from Gnome, saying he completely understands why I did not turn up. That ranger got really angsty when I did not turn up, and his method of flirting just came across as really patronizing. The party fell apart a few weeks later. There was another issue with the DM not being particularly good at being a DM. He was a really nice person, but never prepared for a session. He would often stop for 20 minutes or so to allow him to read ahead and the adventure, and many times we stopped to engage in some roleplay conversation, he would stop the game and start talking about his characters from games he played years ago. I have no grudge against him, and I hope he learns to DM better, but... Ranger! Dude! Looking back on it, Ranger was obviously excited at the prospect of three girls joining his party, and began to try to impress us by acting smart. Did I also mention that he was like 19, whereas my friends are in our mid-twenties? Well, anyway, months have passed and Eldron and Druid and myself are happily part of a live D&D party DM'd by my boyfriend of four years. That ranger had no idea about, and are finally having a good fun time. This happened in the ye years of high school. Imagine you're me, an underweight, mentally unstable sophomore girl, who's had her fair share of run-ins with men with less than honorable intentions. Intentions that left long-lasting mental scars. That's not really important right now, though. Let's get into the meat of the story. My friends were really into D&D. I did not really get it at the time, but I loved creating characters and writing stories. So when my friend, let's call him Warlock, invited me to a campaign, I gladly accepted it. It was the only session that I was really excited about. I had a character laid out in my head and everything, but... When it got to the session, I quickly realized this probably was not my smartest move. I was under the impression that it was going to be me, Warlock, and some other mutual friends. It was not. The party was me, Warlock, his little cousins, and his 40-year-old uncle. Let's call him Uncle DM because he was, might I just add, I was the only girl at this meeting and I played the only female character. Right away, the DM was dismissive towards me. Maybe it was because it was my first session and I was clearly nervous? Or he took offense because I insisted on playing a human paladin instead of a half-elf cleric like he suggested. I wish I was kidding when I say that. I think a half-elf would really suit you, the DM has said when I started rolling my first character sheet. Oh no! Actually, I already had a character in mind. I wanted to play a human paladin. I have a backstory and a... A paladin? His brows raised like I had said something off color. Yes? At this point, he simply rolled his eyes and let me explain my character to the rest of the party. I don't want to go deep into her because I feel like this is getting long enough, but... The things you do need to know is that her name is Benny, and she shackled her loyalty to her lost princess. So, she's a lesbian. The DM had caught me off at that point. What? It caught me off guard that he asked that, like being a lesbian was cause for concern. So, she's a lesbian. The DM repeats, and I very awkwardly laugh it off and say, <laughs> yeah, I guess she is. I'm not sure why, but this made the rest of the party laugh me off, and I felt really called out and put on the spot. Not to mention embarrassed, I was not used to sharing my ideas, and have brought me some anxiety, so being laughed off really did not boost my confidence. Either way, onto the part of the story, 
I'm sure you've clicked on this next post before. Right off the bat, I knew this was going to be bad. The DM had the party meet my character like this. Benny was shackled to the wall within a jail cell deep inside a goblin kingdom. There were chains at her throat, waist, wrists, and ankles. Not only that, but her clothes had been ripped off, leaving her completely exposed. God, I wish I was joking, but that's not all. The DM so lovingly went on to explain that the stone walls were lined with torture devices, and on closer inspection, yes, most of them were sexual in nature. In the center of the cell, there was a cold metal table covered in dried blood and chains hanging over its edge. I'm sure you can imagine what that was used for. The party freed me from my shackles, and I was good to play, but I was already completely over the session. Within a moment, this man completely destroyed my character. He turned my proud, arrogant paladin into a damsel, and I was helpless to stop him. I felt dumb and alone, especially because I seemed to be the only person actually bothered by this. Now, you may remember, but I was a sophomore in high school, and this man was well into his forties. I wish I could tell you more about what happened after that. Probably a shitty boss fight or something to that effect. But I already checked out. I completely blanked, speaking only when I had to roll. This luckily was a long time ago, and I never saw that DM again. I'm honestly surprised D&D was not completely ruined for me. Either way, I hope you enjoyed because I definitely did not.